Hello there. I am doing a series of all the foundation colors that I can wear with Saint Beauty. The purpose is I'm just trying to show the versatility. So today I'm going to be using the color Aura, which is normally the color that I brighten with. So let's just kind of go over a range. This is Saint Beauty cream based um, 3D foundations, but these are our two lightest colors which is Moonlit and Linen. And then it goes down to White Peach, Aura, which is normally my brightening color, Candlelit, Sunlit, June, Amber, Wheat, Sandy, Mango, and Goddess. There's a couple other colors that are darker, but um, that's as dark as I can go. I have done, I have put on in my series, all of the shades except for these four. And I'm not gonna do these three. This is about as light as I'm gonna go because this is already my brightening highlight that I use. So I don't really wanna go any lighter than that. But I just wanna see if I use the color way lighter than what my skin tone is, the versatility of how to be, how to be able to make it work. So um, I'm doing everything the same though that I've been doing. I don't think that I will put a brightener on since I'm using the color, the brightener. Um, I may skip that step or I might could do the linen and do a little bit of pop. I'm not sure just yet what I'm going to do, but I have used Oak and Spotlight on my eyes in the series. I'm going to use the same colors, Sandstone on my cheeks, the Honey Illuminator, the Bronzer and the Rose Gold um, to bronze my face, and then my um, contour will be Olive. So I've tried to keep everything the same so that we can just look at the difference in what the foundation looks like, um, the highlight. So I'm going to start, I've already, I've primed my face, I prime it with a setting spray, but I'm going to go in, I use the blush and bronzer, and I may end up trying to speed some of this because we're going to try to make this quick because it's a lot of videos that I've done over the course of a couple of weeks. So I'm using the color Aura. And we're just going to start kind of stippling it on. See? And it doesn't look crazy light. Because my neck is so much lighter. But the only thing is, is that when you go too light, you show texture. So if you look, it is, I mean, it is light. It, it's not crazy stark, crazy light, but it is way light for the tone that I have. With my freckling and my face is normally dark, darker, you gotta be careful not to be washed out, which the bronzer's the great thing for it. So now I'm gonna go in with my contour in the color Olive. And this is the detail brush. And you'll be surprised at how well this will help with your foundation when it's too light. Adding the other elements to create a 3D foundation is really what makes the magic happen. chisel the jaw a little bit. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to blend in that color. and see what that does. So even though this is lighter, it was light with me doing, cause I kind of brought my contour up just a little bit higher 
just so when I blended it out, it wouldn't be such a stark difference between my face looking light. I didn't want it to be washed out. But I'm just surprised that I can wear as many of the colors as I can. You really can make a lot of them work. Just if you, um, you really don't have to play around with it much. But some colors are going to be better suited for you. And you don't have to really make it work if you've got the right, um, If you've got the right color choice. Okay, so it doesn't look bad, right? I mean, it's crazy. This is the color Aura that I normally brighten with. I normally brighten with that color. I may brighten. You know what? Let me just go with a little bit. I'll go with this linen here. Just for a little extra bright. Not gonna go with much but just a little bit I don't use linen a whole lot I might do a little dollop, dollop just for a, a smidgen of an extra brightening but it's almost too um, too bright for my face but if you blend it in with your other stuff you really can't um, you really can't tell there you go I'm gonna go in with my my bronzer I'm just barely come a lot my camera keeps turning off just putting a little bit this will help with, um, I'll get that off my neck, blending it. The bronzer, I know I say this every time, is sheer. It's a very sheer color, super easy to blend. It works really well when your colors, when you're losing your tan, And you want to look like you've been to the beach or if you feel like your color is not dark enough that's all you got to do is add a little bit more of this or even put it underneath it it's a great base it evens out your skin tone and it's great to put your foundation on top of it there you go okay so really quick we're gonna go in I'm gonna put the color honey just as a little bit of a Illuminator. I think that's what I've been using each time. Um, I'm going to line my lips with the olive contour. And now I'm going to use the color sandstone, which is I'm going to use on it's a lip and cheek. I'm going to put it on both lips and cheeks. And I, I can't remember if I've been using a gloss or not, but I'm just going to put this color honey on it to kind of mute it down and make it a little bit more nude. Now I'm gonna go in with my sandstone um, on my cheeks. I'm just barely dipping it. 
and I'm gonna put it kind of right above where I contoured. It's a gorgeous color, it's my favorite. I think this is my favorite color. It just gives life. I love the little pink flushes that you have too, but this right here, I mean, oh, it's just so pretty. And you can deepen it as much as you want. That's it, fellas. I'm gonna go over my perfector sponge. This is always the perfect step when you're finished to make sure everything is blended together, that you've pressed it into your skin. It's barely damp. It is not um, uh, wet and dripping because you, you want it to pick up excess product, but not extra product. You want it you want to leave just enough to where you're able to press it into your face. I like to do, I like to dampen this before I start my makeup routine, really 30 minutes before I start it so that it will just barely, it'll just be bouncy. It doesn't even really feel, it's just kind of cool to touch. And I squeeze it out in a towel or a paper towel to get, make sure there's no moisture. And then I finish off with some setting spray. This is my Charlotte Tilbury that I, love so okay that's it fellas that is it isn't that crazy this is a very light color for me and i just don't i just don't feel like that it looks way off but anyway so this is me again let's go over these palettes again using the color aura which is our fourth lightest shade so here we are right here so in my series i have used these two, all of these, and these two right here. And they've all worked. Isn't that crazy? That was a big spectrum of colors. But anyway, so I'll be posting the videos throughout randomly over the next probably couple weeks just to show how it looks, you know, just putting all the different colors on. So I will see you later.